the importance of makers and artisans nowadays I think is getting more and more essential. The more artisans there are that will share their skills, the better. It's always an exciting moment. Mm. I'm Helen Martino and I do ceramics. So, pretty good firing I think, uh, which is a relief always because you never know. It went to the right temperature and it took about 12 hours, which I know is always good for that temperature. So, as expected, the glazes have come out quite well and I think I have got good results. I left school at 16 and went and did my foundation and then I went to did clay and it just felt right. I loved the whole smell of it, the studio and the people there were so relaxed and I could throw straight away so I made some mugs in my first session and really function was the thing that I liked to do the most at that stage. Well, I think the forms and things that I make probably evolve. And I think that's one of the reasons I like ceramics is you don't start off knowing what you're going to make completely because in the making it will need to change or adapt. With that so much in my background, I'm very conscious of that idea of an enclosed space is part of the abstraction that I now need to get into uh, the making of the piece that I want to make and also to try and get them making really interesting shadows. I think that's meant that I quite often distort things thinking of what shadow they're going to make. So I try to create a round looking thing when it's flat. And when things have happened, you know, you include that in your life. I suppose as far as the studio and expressing myself goes about uh, difficult things. It is a safe place because also I'm on my own, so nobody's delving too deep while you're trying to work things out. And I don't think that's probably in my nature to be that expressive or sharing. So I hide things. On my first course with John Maltby, for example, it was following one of my children being killed in an accident and I think although we were meant to be making uh, bowls and stuff, mine turned out to be a sort of boat shaped coffin but with an open top and also with hidden writing on it. So I could write within the decoration things that I wanted to say but without anybody knowing. So I think when you're ready, those things just come through and it's the way your life is at that time. With ceramics, become very resilient because you get a lot of failure to start with. Sometimes things will break or crack. Whereas on the whole, I'm more or less in control of the shapes I make every day. But I like that risk factor, really. I'm always challenging myself to make something a bit more difficult or different because boredom is a horrible, undermining thing. So it's 50 years this year since I left uh, my degree course. Yeah, it's long-term friendships, long-term life involved with ceramics, 
can't think of a better way to live, really. <laughs>